Welcome to another video for the Linux and SQL series. Again, keeping it moving forward with the SQL portion of the series. And in this one, we're going to compound upon what we did in the prior video. We're just going to apply more filters and standard query language. Now, as a security professional, uh, you often need to query right, some numbers and dates normally, right? For example, right, you may need to filter dates, patch dates to find machines that need an update, or you might need to filter some login attempts during a certain period of time to investigate a security incident. Now, there is common operators for working with numeric or a data and time data that's going to help uh, accurately filter data. Uh, some of these like equal, greater than, less than, uh, things like that. But nonetheless, I can uh, paint the scenario for the next few activities or the next few tasks I'm going to do under a particular activity. Now, uh, let's say I'm I'm a security professional and I'm investigating a security incident uh, that recently happened. Now, I need to gather information that to write about login attempts for a certain dates and times. And this is, you know, in part to uh, hopefully part of the security playbook that you have for your enterprise, but also in resolving the security incident itself. I'm just going to do a few things as far as retrieving login events made after a certain date, uh, narrow the focus of the search to filter some logins in a date range, and then also investigate some logins that were made at certain times and then filter some, some attempts also based on their event IDs. So first to get this started, I'll need to, of course, uh, retrieve some login attempts after a certain date. So I need to investigate uh, this. So to do this, I'll uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure why I tried to use that. I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but anything after would, would mean greater than, so that would be. This is everything after. Um, after May 9th, as far as the login attempts after um, this that particular date. Um, assuming that's when the incident took place. And it looks like there were quite a, a bit. There were about 125 login attempts uh, made after uh, May 9th of 2022. Now, based on my first query, I got to find uh, a need to expand the date range um, to include 509 in my search. So um, just going to do wants to work today. There we go. There we go. So I'll just add this here. If again it feels like working. Uh, you know, for whenever it wants to uh, be, you know, show itself. Oh, uh, there it is. It's an equal sign, so it could be equal to or greater than. So everything starting from May 9th, 2022, all the way to all the dates uh, proceeding, uh, that I believe that's the correct word, after May 9th as well, all right? Let's see. It's like, uh, let's see. So I have a syntax issue. 
Um, let's see, what is it? Hmm. Oh, put the eagle on the wrong spot. There it is. That's exactly what it was. So I've, uh, again, I made sure that it ex expanded just another day to include also the day of May 9th, 2022. It looks like there is quite a bit more. It looks like there were additional 40 uh, login attempts on just May 9th alone. Uh, but this allowed me to move forward now that I have this info to retrieve logins in a date range, uh, which is kind of important in part what I have here. So what I need to do is actually now narrow the focus of the search. So login attempts made after uh, May 11th of 2022 should not be included. So I'm going to use the between and the and operators to return the results between 509 and 511, 2022. Right, so I'm just gonna run the query to retrieve those particular records. Uh, so let's go ahead and put your Perfect, at about 123, as far as the amount of login attempts, it looks like between, um, I would say roughly about those three days, including the day of, um, as far as login attempts. Now I'm able to investigate logins at a certain time. Now I'm just really narrowing my focus. So I need to investigate the logins that were made at certain times. Uh, doing this, filtering the data between in the login attempts, all right, uh, by login time. So my organization or the organization here in this scenario, the typical work hours begin at about seven o'clock a.m., right? Now I'm gonna retrieve all login attempts before 7 a.m. to learn more about the users who were logging in outside of typical work hours. So I'm just gonna write the data, well, write a query <laughs> rather uh, to reflect this wants to work today. Not sure. It's work. Oh, <laughs> there it is. It does work. All right, let's take a look here. It's quite a bit. Well, not too, not too much. It's sixty-seven. All right. So let's see. Um. Yeah, it's not too bad. All right. And I can also now we're doing this. I have everything before seven a.m. Right, and it re it, it returned more, re more really more results than required for the most part. So I'm just going to modify the logins between uh, 6 p.m. Uh, and 7 a.m. I believe. Let's see.
perfect. So not too bad, right? About 15, right? Looks like the earliest was like about 601. So not too crazy, right? I mean, some folks might want to, you know, leave, you know, uh, get their work done early, you know, in the work day. So, I, you know, do, do you blame them? Maybe, maybe not, depends. But nonetheless, I'll move forward to uh, to my next task, which is going to be investigating logins by an event ID uh, and also narrate the focus again. Now, I'm just going to investigate the login attempts based on this with uh, with another query. And I'm only going to return or I want to only return the event ID, the username, the login date, uh, those fields from the login attempts table. So it's going to do... And this is all very simplified. I mean, it gets a lot more complex in um, you know, real world scenarios. And we want to I to see how the no to see here. to remember here. All right, so I'm looking at it wrong. I knew there was something. That should be enough. Then I'll go ahead and select the rest. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> I knew it. All right, perfect. Looks like there's quite a bit uh, here. Uh, just like sifting through it. Perfect. So it's about 200. All right, so I can also modify this query as well uh, to return only login attempts uh, with the event ID between, let's say, 100 and 150. So if I do If I do this, I, um, figure this one out too. All right. Um, this here okay 
feel like I'm close, but I'm not sure. All right. Um, let's. The logging things, believe. There we go. Knew I was close. Perfect. And let's see here. Okay, about 51. Okay, not too bad, not too shabby. But nonetheless, uh, this now brings us to the conclusion of the video. Just for a very brief recap, again, just showcasing uh, just some uh, basic S SQL um, uh, skills as far as, at least in this particular case, applying filters or applying more filters, just like applied filters originally in the previous video. Um, uh, particularly around the where keyword, the between and the and operators and the operators for working with numeric and data and time, uh, data types, you know, for example, equal than, lips, less than, greater than, or both, uh, to filter from uh, filter data from a table. And can't, this was definitely a lot of fun. Can't wait until the next one. And in the meantime, stay curious, stay secure.